At this point, I'm 99.999% sure you already know what Parsec is. So let's skip the rundown and encourage anyone in that 0.001% to check out the trailer on our channel. What we're actually here to talk about is Parsec Soda. You may have noticed this little drink person while browsing the Parsec Arcade and thought, what is this Parsec Soda? Do I drink it? Do I shake it? Does it need to be refrigerated? Well, it's not a game, that's for sure. And it definitely isn't our own personal brand of Sodi Pop. Parsec Soda is actually an open source tool that goes hand in hand with Parsec itself. Simply put, it's a sick enhancement to the arcade that improves hosting, adds features, and makes the overall Parsec arcade experience that much better. Not just for gaming either. Parsec Soda also adds desktop sharing to the arcade. So if you're someone who much prefers the arcade look and feel, but are occasionally forced to use the computers tab for certain instances, this is right up your alley as well. That's not the only added feature Parsec Soda brings to the proverbial table. There's actually loads of them. Even some that users have been dying for your boy Parsec to implement, like controller swapping, which allows you to make player one become player two, just like you can in a sports game. Other features include manually plugging or unplugging game pads, locking and unlocking player inputs, banning or unbanning players, even if they've left your session, so you can easily put a stop to anyone that might be creating any sort of unnecessary annoyance. Naming your session, which was a feature from our old arcade UI that has now been resurrected. Access to an audio control panel and a dedicated chat and log window with plenty of helpful commands your guests can use. You even have the ability to alter the number of players and change from public to private all in real time without ever having to close the session and open up a new one. I told you this thing was stacked. There's more, but I'll let you discover everything else on your own. Perfect time to segue into how you actually get your hands on Parsec Soda. For the most part, it's pretty simple. Visit the dedicated GitHub page found in the description of this video and install the latest version by clicking the Assets button found underneath the version you're planning to install. The first link inside Assets is all you're going to need. Sometimes the latest version isn't the best version because it's still being worked on, but that's okay because all other versions are available for download with everything new inside them completely listed. Some people may experience issues with Windows Defender, and luckily, Flav, the creator of Parsec Soda, has their own video you can check out in case you're a victim of said shenanigans. This can also be found in the description. Flav even has a dedicated support channel in the official Parsec Soda Discord server for any problems you may encounter when using their marvelous creation. The link is on the official GitHub page, but also, you guessed it, in the description below with Flab's YouTube and other helpful resources. Once you've extracted the files and your shiny new Parsec Soda.exe is all yours, simply run it and log in to begin. We know the power of Parsec is, uh, well, powerful, but now you have an even greater power, and you know what comes with great power. One small disclaimer worth mentioning, in case anybody gets confused, Parsec Soda does not replace the Parsec application. It's all built on top of your Parsec app. Although it can create arcade sessions, you will still need Parsec to join them, including sessions made via Parsec Soda. On top of using Soda, you can also partake in the project, and if you're a developer looking to, we highly recommend it. Soda was created for Flaff's own personal use, but has since taken on a life of its own, where community help is totally encouraged. There's a section of the GitHub all about how to contribute and build so you can start getting involved right away. Personally, Soda's been on our radar for quite some time, and we're eager to see where development continues to go. Hopefully this video made you eager to have an even better arcade. We greatly appreciate Flaff and all the other devs who have helped out with the vision along the way. Shout out to you all.